Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we just praise your holy name, and we thank you, Father God, for ironing out all of the challenges that we have, all of the technical problems that we historically have had, Father, and just bringing us together this night. We pray in the name of Jesus, Father God, that your anointing will fall upon even the electrons and the electricity and the wiring and all of the connectivity that is required to make shows like this go off, Father God, that people who call in will remain connected, that they will have no trouble calling into the show. We praise you, Father God, for this opportunity. We thank you, Father. We just praise you. We want to serve your people. We want to serve you, and we just lift you up and magnify your holy name. Praise your holy name, Lord God. We pray for an anointing of your Holy Spirit upon every single person who calls in this evening. A healing power, Father God, to fall upon them in the name of Jesus. We just thank you, Father. We just praise you. Hallelujah. Praise God. And for those of you who are listening to the show, uh, if you know anybody that needs to call in, uh, please do you know send an email if you would to them. Uh, and, you know, any text message them. Whatever the case is, sometimes people just need a little bit of encouragement. Uh, they feel a little awkward, if you will, about calling into programs like this. Uh, it takes a you know it, it, for for a lot of folks, it's just a little bit of an unusual kind of an awkward situation uh, to be live on a radio program. And this is uh, not a common. Um, you know, method uh, for divine healing services to occur. Uh, the most common, of course, is in a church or uh, in a tent gathering or something like that. But to actually do it over a live streaming radio broadcast, why, uh, that's probably arguably the least uh, uh, common way. And so people tend to be a little bit uncomfortable. So they need encouragement. And we do have people, praise God, uh, that do have been encouraging people that have very serious uh, illnesses uh, that they know uh, to call into the program. Um, you know what? It, it, it's it, there's you know with the way it works is you know as the scripture tells us and it's so so hard folks I know I'm I'm living testimony of this I there are things in my life I have been praying for for years I have been on my knees before the Lord and you know for lack of a better term God works in mysterious ways I mean I you know without getting into a long lengthy testimonies but I I've lived through uh, growing up my whole life uh, in a family that was you know. Involved heavily with spiritual warfare, casting out demons, chasing poltergeists out of houses. They called it cleaning houses. Um, you know, uh, you know. The bottom line is that we just have to keep on believing, pushing through, and fighting the war. It's spiritual warfare. Uh, you know, uh, it, almost every single time, indeed, almost every single time that Jesus healed people of sick, sicknesses, he also cast out demons. Uh, it's it's very clear in the scripture. Uh, Smith Wigglesworth, for example, uh, believed that pretty much, not, maybe not 100%, but pretty much just about every single sickness uh, was some form or manifestation of the devil or demons causing that sickness. Uh, and, you know, his track record speaks for itself. Praise God, one of the greatest lieutenants, uh, if you will, uh, generals, if you will, working for the Father in that capacity of divine healing. So, you know, and but the thing about it is, you know, I could also tell testimonies as well of people who have had to persevere, people who have had to push through. There was indeed one testimony, praise Jesus, of this lady. Uh, uh, she was an older lady, and I, I think it's in his, um, I don't know if it's in which book it is. I have a couple, I actually have about four books of Smith Wigglesworth, but um, one in particular tells of a story of an elderly lady who had been going to regular Smith Wigglesworth um, uh, divine healing revival, you know, tent revivals, and she had a goiter uh, on her neck. It was, you know, real big kind of, you know, one of those mini football size. It was just big, protruding, awful goiter on her neck. And um, Smith had prayed over it and, and said, in the name of the Lord Jesus, be thou made whole. I command you to be healed. And believe it or not, uh, somebody as, you know, well-known and absolutely anointed with the power of the Holy Spirit as Smith Wigglesworth, uh, that lady's goiter did not did not go away, uh, but her persistence was absolutely exemplary. She would go back, indeed, year after year, uh, I believe it was up to three years, if I recall the story correctly, uh, she was at the tent, the same tent revival that Smith would come to in her town, and she uh, was there singing praises to the Lord and, and just happy as a lark, uh, even though 
you know, for all intents and purposes, the goiter was still on her neck, but she was praising God and thanking him and believing for that healing. The persistence, it's like that uh, the parable of the persistent widow in Luke chapter 18. I, I Ever since Sister Nancy re- reminded me about that parable, because I completely spaced it, um, uh, I, I've been hungrily uh, bringing that up before the Lord. I'm like, I'm on the Lord about things that I want and I've been praying for in my life, and I'm like, Father, I am going to be the persistent widow. I am going to be the persistent widow. I am going to bug, 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 bug you until I get what I'm asking for, because your scripture promises it to me. And 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 you know what? We have to trust God and believe that his timing is perfect, just like that little old lady did in that Smith Wigglesworth revival. And, and sure enough, uh, I think it was the third year. I Again, I hope I got that story right, but I, it was certainly a multi-year uh, visit, and, and, and she stood up and proclaimed the healing in front of people, and I, I, I think Smith said, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, show the people that she has been healed, and the daggone thing fell right off of her neck, but she had been persistently praising God for that healing for a couple of years, and, um, and finally it, it manifests, it pushed through the spiritual realm and manifest in her reality, in the people's reality. Um, I don't get it. None of us proclaim to understand all the kingdom dynamics and how the gifts that are given to us are given. There's amazing stories. I mean, it's underscored by the story of Daniel in chapter 9 and 10, where there's that 21-day period where uh, the angel that was sent on behalf of Daniel to give him word on 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 the timing of the release of the Babylonian captivity, where that angel was fighting with the prince of Persia in the spiritual realm for up to 21 days, that the father had released that blessing, had given him what he asked for, and that angel was held up. We don't understand these dynamics, but we have to be the persistent widow. We have to never stop, never stop. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And praise God, like it says in Job 13, 15, though he slay me, yet I will trust him. That's a powerful, powerful verse. Hallelujah. That's a verse that says, you know what? No matter how tough it gets, no matter how awful it is, no matter how agonizing daily life can be, uh, you got to stand your ground. You got to believe. You got to keep on praising Jesus, praising the Father, thanking Him for that blessing, and believing no matter what. And be that persistent widow. Keep calling, keep calling. Chase down that divine healing because it's going to come your way. Praise God. Uh, you know what? And if it doesn't happen tonight, maybe it'll happen tomorrow. If it doesn't happen next week, maybe it'll happen a month from now. Uh, I, I can I cannot tell you how many stories uh, that I have been privy to and met people personally where there were delays in healings of deadly cancers, sometimes in the cases of many months, and that person woke up one day and said, hey, I feel different, and went into the doctor and Bam! It was gone. Hallelujah. And the doctor was like, this is impossible. Uh, you know, and, and praise Jesus. One of those ladies was a lady that went to the church right down the road from my house here called Faith Outreach. Praise Jesus. Matter of fact, the pastor, the pastor of Faith Outreach is actually about six houses down from me in the same housing development as I'm in. Praise God. So, uh, you know, we've all been around it. We've got to stand upon the promises of the Bible. We've got to be that persistent widow. We've got to believe. And there is indeed even additional outpourings of healing that will be occurring as we move into the darker period uh, that we're about to be jettisoned into. Praise God. Uh, and, uh, and so, you know, never give up. Never stop praising. Always believe. Continue to seek. Keep on seeking. Keep on asking. Keep on reverently knocking. And these things will be given unto you. Praise God. And, and that's, that's how we have to live. I could sit here and you know, be a complaining Israelite about the things that I've been asking the Lord for for, you know, two years, three years, but that's okay. Um, You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep on believing, keep on saying, Father, I'm the persistent widow. Father, here I am. Knock, 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 knock. Father, it says right here in James 5, or John 15, 16, that whatever I ask the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus shall be given unto me, and I believe it, no matter what. I'm going to go. I don't care if I have to go to my death praising Jesus and believe 
believing for that healing or whatever it is that I'm believing for, uh, for that transformation, for that change in my life, for whatever it is in our lives that we're seeking for that salvation of a son or a daughter, we have to be perseverant. Perseverance is the number one greatest attribute that a saint here. You know, there's so many scriptures that back this, folks. I could go into a whole preaching on just this alone. The perseverance and the patience of the saints is one of the greatest uh, attributes of our walk on the earth, and the Father favors that in us. I don't know why we are sometimes uh, put in a position to wait, uh, but there's always a reason for it. As it says in James chapter 1, uh, round about verse 5, it's very clear uh, that you know patience in us creates a, a state of spiritual perfection, and, and that's where God has to bring us, and it's all about transforming us into who we need to be. And I know that's hard to accept sometimes and have that patience when you're feeling bad and you're, oh, folks, believe me, I know how how bad it is. I, my mom didn't make it. You know, she passed away at the age of 56, and she went from one divine healing tent to another one to one. Uh, but you know what? There was a reason for that. I don't know what that reason was. The other members of my family do not know what the reason was, why she didn't receive her healing. But you know what? That's okay. It didn't stop me. It did not change the, the attitude or the feelings or the or anything having to do with the faith of my sisters, Marilyn and Paula and myself. We've all continued to walk in the faith and believing God. We know that there was a divine reason why my mother didn't receive her healing. There's a reason for that. And it was probably a, a, a blessing and a blessing that she was not even aware of until she ended up in glory. Praise God. So we have to realize that our existence in the eyes of our Father, in the eyes of Jesus, is an eternal existence. And we got to believe, walk the walk, talk the talk, sing the praises, and continue to do exactly what the Bible tells us, which is to believe and to keep on being that persistent widow no matter what. And the really good thing is to know that there are infinite numbers of prophecies, dreams, and visions. Very, I mean, I, the collection I have goes from so many people. Even the prophet Dr. David O'Rourke saw that he uh, pro uh, prophesied and stated in a vision that he had seen body parts in heaven, and he saw the Lord Jesus stepping out. Uh, 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 of the heavenly realm, and these body parts were for the healing of the saints. Uh, there's other people that have seen similar things. So these healings are coming, praise God, and we just have to keep on punching our way through the darkness and believing and singing praises no matter what, being just like that little old lady with the goiter on her neck and knowing that she was healed, and then having that glorious day where she can stand up and say, Hallelujah, it is finally gone, praise God. And on that note, let's go ahead and bring on Pastor Aaron Wagner. Pastor Aaron, are you there? Yes. Pastor Hello. Aaron. Hey. Hello. Oh, there you are. I just had to unmute I just it. had to unmute it. <laughs> oh, yeah, perfect. Praise God. I had a, had a very tiny momentary, oh, no, the wiring. <laughs> right. Jesus. I think I got it figured out now. Uh, but, right you know, there, there's definitely definitely been some uh, things being thrown my way uh, that, have, that were trying to keep me from coming, but I mean, right in the nick of time, I'm here. God supernaturally uh, turned on. I mean, my computer booted up quicker than I've ever seen it boot up before. And uh, man, it's amazing how dependent we are upon God's grace. So I just praise oh, God praise that I'm God. here. Everything's working. Awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Praise Jesus. Amen. So I don't want to bore everybody with, with, with uh, my trouble stories, but, uh, I just want to share that, you know, God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you again for uh, tuning into the show. You know, we love to see people healed, delivered, set free. We love to see people receive what is already theirs. It's their inheritance. You know, that's, that's amazing. I think the reason, you know, John and I got together and started doing the show wasn't just to get people healed and free, but it was also to teach teach the believers in Christ how to stand. See, this this really what it's all about is we want to teach we want to teach you how to stand. We want to teach you to fight for what's rightfully yours. I call it a travesty of justice when I see other believers walking around carrying sickness and disease or infirmity in their body that Jesus already carried. Guys, we don't carry our sins because the Christ did. He carried our sins, and he, he bore our, our sins and took them away. That means he carried them away. That's what that means. When it says he bore our sins on a tree, that means he carried them away. 
he did the same thing with our sickness and our disease. Now, let me ask you a question. How do we get born again? How do we truly get saved? Because here's the thing. I deal with person after person. God bless them all. And I see God do amazing things. I see people's lives get transformed overnight. I see night to day. I see uh, death to life. I, I, I see that. And I see a lot of times where I come into someone, God leads me into someone's life. I share the gospel with them and I see them so receptive, you know, like the Bible talks about their, you know, the ground, they take it with joy. They receive it with joy, but then no roots, no roots are that go down deep enough to, to hold. So what happens is I see this to where, you know, I lead someone to Christ and pray for them to receive the Holy spirit. Then the next day, they're out smoking weed or getting drunk or doing whatever they were doing before. And everybody's like, well, what good was that? You know, what are you doing, Aaron? Are, are, you know, what, what, what do you, what is it, what is it, how, you know, praying for people and people getting healed and you casting out demons. You know, I, I see, I see that, but then they, you know, I see them going and doing the same thing that they were doing before. And I, my, my, my response is always the same. Just watch and see, just wait, just watch. The seed has been planted. The spirit of God has come into that life. And I guarantee you, if the spirit of God has come into that life, you're going to see transformation. Everything in the kingdom of God is a seed. The seed gets planted. We watch it grow. We wait for God to give the increase. We don't yell at the seed. We don't, there's no way, there, there's no way to speed up the seed. There's, if, the only way to speed up the seed is if all of a sudden the seed that was planted is so uh, uh, continually watered over and over. And the way that the seed is watered is when people get truth. The truth waters the seed. The Spirit of God is the water that, 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 you know, that we need in order to see that seed grow. And the Spirit is truth. The, the truth makes us free. So when we plant the seed, and then we continue to do these shows week after week or you know, every other two weeks. We continue to do these shows. If you keep tuning in and you keep listening, what's happening is that seed that has been planted in you is, in, is getting the water that it needs to continue to increase. Now, somebody comes to me and I pray and, 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 and they tell me, I've been praying for years and I haven't received the healing I haven't received the healing that I've been waiting for. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be straight up with you and tell you, well, it's because you don't believe. And you say, well, I have faith. You're going to tell me I don't have faith? No, the Bible does. Because the Bible says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, then you will speak to the mountain. It will move. But the fact is, is that we have been so and, – and I don't mean, to, I don't mean this in a, in a mean way, guys. But what I'm saying is we have been, we have been so uh, – ransacked with lies we have been we just been clobbered with lies over and over well healing isn't for today well it's not always god's will to heal well maybe it was their time to go and we have all these things that are just in our heart and in our mind to where now those things eclipse the truth and the truth is it's always god's will to heal you it's the truth that god loves you he paid the price it's the same thing with your soul your soul has been saved. Your soul is to be saved is what I mean. There's an, there's an opportunity for salvation. All you have to do is what? Believe. But when you believe, you grab on with all that you are, and you don't let go of it. You grab on. True belief is a, is a full assurance. And if you're fully assured, you're going to grab on with all your heart, and you're not going to let go because you're going to say, well, I know it's true. It doesn't matter what I feel. It doesn't matter what I experience. It doesn't matter what other people say because that's the problem. We have too many – like I believe that James warned. He said, let not many of you become teachers because doing so, you will receive a stricter judgment. Well, guys, how many teachers do we have? How many books do we have all written and saying, well, this, was, this book was written because God gave me – uh, you know, God gave me the idea. God, God led me to write this book. And most of them conflict with each other. So the fact is, if God told you to write all those books and everybody to write these books and they're conflicting, then we have something wrong. So, okay, gotcha, John. Awesome. Praise God. So listen, so 
what we want to do is we want to be very careful with what we receive into our lives because even as God and his children, us, are planting seeds, so is the devil. So is the enemy. He's planting seeds too. He likes to twist and distort the truth to where now that seed gets planted in you, and the only way to uproot that seed is with the truth. Guys, part of our ministry here, part of the ministry here is not just, uh, you know, telling, casting devils out and, and uh, you know, and healing the sick, but it's also implanting the truth because the truth waters the seed. And I praise God for what I'm saying right now because that's so true. And I, I wasn't expected to say this, but it's just flowing because that's what God has on my heart right now is how important the truth is, guys. The truth is, is so important to us because we as believers, whether we like it or not, we are in a war. We're in a battle. And our weapon, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but what are they? They're mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. What are the strongholds? The strongholds are the lies. The lies are the strongholds. So what do we cast those strongholds down with? Do we yell at it? Do we tell it to leave? No. We can tell the enemy to leave, and that's what we do. But then we have to get the truth to you because the truth will take the place of the lie. And when the truth takes the place of the lie, that's the seed that is planted. And now the correct seed's growing. The right seed is growing. So, guys, do not lose heart. Do not grow weary in good doing. Do not grow weary in, well, I've been waiting to receive. I have been waiting so long to receive, and I haven't received. Let's just keep watering that seed. Just keep coming back to get the seed watered. Because eventually, watch, I'll say something, or John will say something. And that seed will be planted, and you'll be like, whoo, the Spirit of God, bam, instantly confirms exactly what he was trying to speak in that moment. It's, it's, there's confirmation in your spirit, or what we speak in that moment. The confirmation, when all of a sudden the Spirit of God confirms in your spirit what is being said is true, now there's ground that is fertile and able to raise up that seed, to grow that seed. So keep listening. Keep your ears attentive and keep asking Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, teach me the truth. Holy Spirit, you said you would lead me and guide me into all truth. I'm asking you to open my ears, make my heart receptive. I'm here to learn. I'm here to receive the truth. I'm here to have the seeds of God, the true seeds, the good seeds to be planted within me so that a harvest, so when the harvest comes, that I will be able to uh, produce 60, 90, a hundredfold. And what that means is you will receive the truth. The truth will make you free. And then you will be used to set others free because that truth. Guys, we aren't special. We don't have a special anointing. We just have the truth. And as you hear on radio show after radio show, the truth makes people free. I don't want to complicate things. A lot of times we complicate things. It's the simplicity of the gospel. Sickness is a lie. Sickness is trespassing. We tell it to go, and it has to. If it don't, you come back, we tell it again because it has to. It has to obey. Guys, when I pray for people on the streets, I can tell you testimony after testimony just last week. And when I pray for people on the streets, I don't do what I do over the phone. It's not, you know, rah, you know, it's in Jesus' name, be healed. Touch them. A lot of times, usually they fall on the ground, they get up, and they're healed. Uh, just prayed for a guy the other day. His whole body's full of metal. I touch him. His, the metal turned to flesh and now, or to bone. Now he's able to move his whole entire body, and he couldn't believe it. He's sitting there putting his leg up over his head. I'll give you that testimony because it's very, very powerful at the end of the show. Want we'll to take some callers. Don't want people to wait too long because we want you to keep calling in. All right, John, go ahead, brother. All right, praise God. And let's go ahead and move over. Now, again, um, it's okay. Sometimes we have people call in to just listen. So if I pick up your line and you're just listening, just let me know, and we'll roll to the next person. Praise God. And the first uh, person that called in is at uh, last 42150. Last 42150. Are you there? You're on live with Pastor Aaron Wagner. Yes. Hi, John. Hi. Uh, Pastor. Hi, uh, Pastor Wagner. Uh, my apologies. I was uh, the first caller on, on the last show, but my phone uh, my phone call was dropped, and that made me very sad. So I'm calling back because I I want you to finish what you started in me. Oh, um, wonderful. 
Yes, yes. Um, uh, like I had told you, my fo- I'm out here in the country, so my phone lines, um, you know, but you know how th- these things always happen. The, the crafty one always wants to um, interfere in receiving blessings. And I'm calling oh, yeah. again because you prayed over my son, Robbie, and I spoke to him um, a few days ago, and he mentioned to my youngest daughter, remember I, I had mentioned that he had chronic asthma ever since he was a little boy, since he was two years old up until now, and he made a comment that um, he is able to taste now. He, ne- he was never able to do that. And uh, because of his chronic asthma, he is on medication, the allergy shots and everything. And what I'm asking for him is that his lungs will be healed and that he will no longer be on any type of steroid or allergy uh, shots or, or in the nebulizer to breathe. Because when you prayed for him, he says that he was able to really breathe uh, mm-hmm for the first time and taste. He's 22. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, so something wonderful is happening since you prayed for him. Amen. Yeah, we, we, we all prayed for him. We, we stand together as the body of Christ, and, and uh, the Lord moves when his people unite. Amen? Yes. All right. So, so, your, so your son, Robbie, did, Robbie. I pray, uh-huh. did, I, did I pray with him? Over the phone, or, or did we just ask God, did we just intercede on his behalf? No, we just interceded on his behalf to oh, uh, receive God. the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And uh, I had told you that he has strongly uh, the uh, Antichrist, um, the, oh, the, the, a right. stronghold. And it's, it's, um, that is really prevalent in his life right now because he, well... He's living the Austin life, and he's 22 years old, moving into a new apartment, and uh, he's very kind-hearted, so he helps his friends. But, you know, sometimes you have to help yourself first before you can help anyone out, and he needs to understand that. But, um, yes, I ask that again, that that stronghold of unbelief and antichrist and that his lungs will be healed for good. Uh, The doctor had told him that, um, by the uh, by, his late twenties, that his health would uh, deteriorate. But I'm never going to believe that. Not as long as we have a God that we serve. Amen. That okay. does awesome things. Absolutely. Yes. Let's 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 pray for him. Um, thank you, Father. We just thank you right now, God, for what you've already done. Father, we just thank you that you're so merciful, so loving, and so compassionate. God, that you touched, that your spirit touched this, this guy, this, this man, Robert, through our prayers, through our intercession. Father, we just thank you right now for what you have done. And we just ask God right now, in Jesus' name, that your Holy Spirit will finish the work that you already started. We command as the body of Christ, we command his lungs be fully restored. In Jesus' name, to be completely 100% made whole and restored. The asthma, we curse you and command you, leave this man and never come back. Father, right now in Jesus' name, we pray for the Spirit of God to fall upon Robbie. Let your Spirit fall upon him. Let your Spirit convict him to bring light to his soul, to pierce his heart, his inner being. We ask you, Father, reveal yourself to him in a mighty way in Jesus' name. We give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. Right now, we call forth the angels of heaven, the ministers of fire, to go and complete the work that you've already begun, Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, I, you also prayed for me, and I'll tell you what happened. I had something really, really, really awesome happen to me when you prayed for me. Um, on, I always pray Friday from 6 to Saturday to 6. Well, I was praying on Friday evening, and the Holy Spirit came on me very, very heavy, and I started wailing, uh, travailing. 
so much so that my husband ran in the room and he says, are you okay? Do I need to take you to the doctor? Do you need me to call anybody? And I said, no, I am praying. And the Holy Spirit just was all over me. Well, that night at three o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning, I was awakened by the Holy Spirit. And um, he told me to remember a dream that I had last March about a transformation that I saw in the dream. It was me. But this time he told me to remember uh, what happened to me before the transformation happened. So I'm sitting in my house. It's a little lake house. I'm sitting in a little chair. And um, suddenly I look to my left I was all alone in a little cabin here where we live now. To my left, we have a window, and uh, up across the yard, way across the yard, I could see my neighbor being arrested at midnight. And um, a lot of police were all over her. They were trampling her, and they threw her to the ground, and they were arresting her. And she says, I, I didn't do anything. Why are you here arresting me? And instantly, I was aware that it was a period of the last days, and she was being arrested because she was a Christian. And they oh, were wow. all over her. They, they threw her way to the ground, and a bunch of them were arresting her for no cause. There was no cause. And the wow. next thing that was happening to me, as I'm sitting in this chair, suddenly, uh, I'm, uh, this terrifying of a panic, of terror, is inside of my soul. And I'm oh. saying to myself, oh, no, 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 this is not possible. No, no, I love yeah. the Lord. I love him. He has oh. to take me. He can't forget about me. He can't. He can't leave me here. I'm so ready to go with him. But then I remembered that I said that the Lord would never forsake us. But he also told us that there was going to be a moment where we were going to feel totally abandoned from him. But it's not the case. And Amen. then in, in that moment where I was feeling totally abandoned from him, forsaken, I'm sitting in the chair and I heard, I heard a voice say, put your hands in front of you. You know, like when you're admiring a ring. Mm -hmm. So I put my hands in front of me and my fingers starting to transform you know it's kind of weird what i'm going to tell you you know like uh like in star trek where it says where where they're transforming uh, like no. me up scotty and they're 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 uh trans crystallizing well that was happening to my fingers my hands and my arms and i know and i knew in my spirit that i was getting transformed i had wow. an incredible peace about the whole thing and a great awesome. smile i knew mm -hmm. that i was getting transformed and, wow. and and then holy spirit brought to my attention that i needed to uh look into something because of the way i had referred to my transformation as uh the way on the show of star trek so i went to go look at uh at star trek and Holy Spirit guided me to look at the beginning when it started. It started in 1966, the series, the series, and to now, it's exactly 50 years. And you know how they have the little devices to transform, to uh, no. say, like a communication un uh, device? No, <laughs> well, no it's a, it's I've a, never seen it. Sorry. It's Sorry, a no. cell phone. Yeah, thank you, oh, Jesus. They're, they're, yeah. yeah, the device. You know uh, we're holding about, oh, um, sorry. no, no, I was just, uh, I was just praising God. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I just, uh, go ahead, go ahead and finish what you're saying. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Uh, what I was shown was a device that, uh, that in, in, in the show, um, Captain Kirk was using a cell phone, a cell phone, the device to, to be, transformed as a cell phone could it be that we're in the times now and it's exactly 50 years isn't that the jubilee year yeah it could be praise uh, jesus it sure could sure. be hallelujah um you yeah. know what though we have another uh seven callers in the queue that are Absolutely. waiting right now so we have to move on to okay. the next caller uh but god okay. bless you thank you so, for sharing the testimony with us uh, god yes, bless. Thank okay you. thank you we uh, love you. Uh, pastor 
Pastor, yes. um, I'd like for you to pray mm-hmm. over me, please. Uh, last time, I think the last few minutes we were disconnected because my phone uh, dropped the call. Have to go on but to I would. Call. I'm sorry. God bless you. Hey, right. can, can, I, can you give? Go, go ahead and give me an email. All right, still, all right. If you're, if you're yeah, quick, um, Pastor Wagner needs to get an email from you real quick so he can contact you directly. Okay. And all I'll, right. I'll okay. call you when I'm done, okay? And we'll talk. Yeah, we'll, I'll you. pray over you then. Oh, thank you. Yep. yep. Sorry. Can, can, you get it, can you get an email to us? Uh, she might not want to give out her email live on the air, that Pastor Wagner. Right. No, no, no. No, I said you, my email. If you want to, it's Aaron W. You, Okay, Aaron yeah, W. At, yeah. at 516. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Aaron W. 516 at gmail.com. Okay, thank you so much. And if Aaron you send w. me an email right now, I'll call you if you give me your number. Send me your number, okay? Yes. Uh, yeah, my email is uh, valleygal77 at yahoo.com. Valleygal, valleygal777 at yahoo.com. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, bless you. Great bless God. you. And thank you, Jesus. All right, amen. And let's go ahead and move on to the next caller. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. And again, folks, that is A A R O N A A R O N Aaron W for Wagner 516. A A R O N W516 at gmail.com. That's Pastor Aaron's new email. So please do make a note of that. You can also email me at jbaptist777, jbaptist777 at gmail.com, and I will hook you up with that email as well. Praise God. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next caller. Glory to Jesus. All right, praise God. Thank you, Father. All right, and we're moving on to last four, four, nine, one, one. Last four is four, nine, one, one. You're on live with Pastor Aaron Wagner. Hi, Pastor Wagner. Hi, dear, how are you? I'm, I'm doing very well, actually. I'm, I'm very blessed. Amen. Praise um, God. The reason I'm calling is that I um I only have one lung. I have mesothelioma and had surgery in March of 2015. Discovered it in December of 2014. And I've had a lot of miracles along the way. Um for this thing there is an 80% chance of recurrence and I knew that. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what God was going to do with that. And right now it has come back, and the pain is getting bad. But, um, you know, I know God's with me. There are so many people praying, different churches, my friends. um, And so much good has come out of this. I've realized how much people love me, you know. Amen. I uh, yes. always knew that they liked me, but I didn't know <laughs> the love of them. Yeah, that's wonderful. And I didn't know the love of our father. Um, I mean, I was <laughs> I, I was in the uh, ICU for two and a half weeks, and it was I, I reconnected. I'll put it that way. I reconnected with with Jesus because I had not been a good Christian. But uh, mm-hmm. I reconnected in there and realized how much love that that he has had and kept for me. Yeah. And um, I'm going to ask you to pray over my lung. Um, I've been anointed several times. And, um, you know, I I still believe that it works. So, you know, it may come later, <laughs> well, but I still believe it. Okay, so so I just want to I just want to say something, sweetheart. I want you to understand it's not a method. Okay, see when we say when we say things like it works, it sounds like it's a method. It's either it works or it don't. That's what a method is. Well, this is a relationship. Okay, okay? it's a relationship. Okay. It's, it's it's about it's not a method. It's a relationship with the God who loves you, the God of the universe, the Creator of all things, who loves you so dearly and so unconditionally. Okay, so when I, we're when gonna, I said it works, I meant that. His I know what you mean. Okay. 
Yeah, I know what you mean. I just I just wanted to throw that out there because I because what happens is we begin to look for methods to to find the right method that works. And I want you to understand it's not like a lot of times when I pray for people. Excuse me. When I pray for people, a lot of times. I make it a point to not say much. Sometimes I'll just blow on them just because I just want them to see it's not my prayer that does it. It's, it's my relationship with God who loves you. So watch. Now I, I, actually, seen, I actually just seen your, your lung being reformed. When, when you were talking, I actually could see your lung being reformed. So God is going to make this very easy on us. Praise God. I want you to put your hand over your lung right now. Over the empty space or my good lung? Over the empty space. Okay. God is going to give you a brand new lung. Father, I thank you right now in Jesus' name for a creative miracle. Now tell me when you feel heat in your chest. Not yet, but... Not just right now. I command a brand new lung to be formed. Mesothelioma, I command you to leave this body. I curse you in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for full healing and restoration. I know when I see in my spirit, when I see something, I saw you form that lung. So I thank you right now, Father, for a brand new lung in Jesus' name. Thank you. There is more. Praise God. Be healed. You feel something moving around in there? I feel warm. It's a loving warmth. Oh, yes. A loving God. Praise you, Father. Loving, yes. And Praise I'm you, not Father. afraid. I'm not afraid for whatever God's will is for me. It's perfect. Any way we go, whatever the path um, is, he'll be with me. Yes, yes, God's will is for you to walk in the fullness of what he purchased on the cross, okay? So listen, right now, I want you, I, I want you to just receive, okay? Devil, I bind you by the power of the spirit of the living God in Jesus' name. I command you, spirit of infirmity, go right now. In Jesus' name, whatever is holding back her lungs, whatever is holding back her healing, I command you to go and do not come back. Out! Every unclean spirit, come out right now in Jesus' name. Loose her. Let her go. Go, devil. Go right now. She's a child of the living God. What are you feeling right now? Surrounded by warmth. Like in a bubble of warmth. Praise God. All right. So listen. God is in the midst of touching you right now because of his grace and his love. So you just continue. The only response is thank you, Father, for your love and mercy. You just, you just keep responding with thank you for what you're doing. Don't ever question what God's doing. Don't ever say, well, I guess it's not my time. I guess it's not God's will. You just keep thanking him for what he's doing because that feeling you feel is the presence of God. And I want you to call back when you get your new lung. And you let us know. Oh, I will. We, uh, we're, uh, I'm going to be on TV somehow just so I can praise God. Don't need to show my face or anything else, but just I want to praise God and so x ray. <laughs> awesome. Praise God. All right. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing in this, sister. Thank you for healing God. In Jesus' name, bless her and give her peace, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. All right. Thank bless you, you sister. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That is awesome. We want to hear back from you. Praise Jesus. All right, let's move on to the next caller. Last four is 9259. Glory to God. Oh, he touched me. Hallelujah. Oh, 
All right, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, 9259, you're on live with Pastor Aaron Wagner. Oh, hi, guys. Thanks for taking my call. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. <laughs> um, well, I am calling you because um, I have a, a tumor on my right arm, and I thought it was a cyst. It's been on there since March, and um, I had an MRI on Friday, and uh, it, it unfortunately is not a cyst. It is a tumor. And um, I don't know if it's benign or malignant because they haven't gotten that far in the testing. Um, but I just uh, wanted to pray for it. <laughs> yeah, you. absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and put your, your hand on that tumor. Is it on the inside or outside? It's on the outside. Yeah, it's just below my elbow. Okay, go ahead and put your hand on that tumor. Okay. I'm believing right now. I'm believing that if you're going to feel it under your hand, just shrink and disappear. Mm-hmm. Right now, Father, thank you, God. Thank you for your mercy and grace, God. Thank you for this call. And thank you for her calling in. Thank you for her calling in because she knows how mighty of a God we serve. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to that tumor. I speak to you. I curse you at the root. I command you to shrivel up and die right now. Tumor, dissipate. Come to nothing. Just name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Right now, I command you, be made whole. Devil, I, I bind you by the Spirit of God right now, and I command you, let her go. Let her go. Spirit of cancer, spirit of death, go! Right now, in Jesus' name. Every unclean spirit, I command you to come out of this woman right now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity, out! Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Oh, it's hot. (laughs) What's that? It's hot. (laughs) Praise Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, thank you. Glory to Jesus. Jesus, you're so awesome. We worship you. Thank you. Jesus, you are Lord. We thank you that you are Lord over this body, over this tumor. You are Lord of all. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory as we exalt you, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for your precious blood. Thank you for your mercy and your grace, God. Right now, by the blood of Jesus Christ, tumor, you will leave this body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you ever been filled with the Spirit? No, but I've been praying for years. I just heard that in my heart. I just heard in my heart that God wants to fill you with the Spirit. You want to be, you want, you're ready for that? Yes. Okay, watch. Now, do you have, do you have me on speakerphone? Oh, no, I'm, I just have you on regular phone. Okay. Do you want me to put you on? <laughs> yes, please, and I want you to lift your hands to the, to the Lord. Okay. Okay, say this. Say, Father. Father. I thank you that you love me. Say again? I thank you that you love me. Oh, I thank you that you love me, Father. And I thank you that it is your good pleasure. And I thank you that it's your good pleasure. To give me the kingdom. To give me the kingdom. I receive by faith. I receive by faith. And by grace. And by grace. The spirit of the living God. The spirit of the living God. Forgive me for all my sin. Forgive me for all my sin. Come and make your home inside of me. And come and make your home inside me. I want you to live in me. I want you to live in me. So come, Holy Spirit. So come, Holy Spirit. Here he comes. Thank you, Jesus. Fire of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. More. 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 Thank you, Lord. More, God. Fire. Fire of God. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit right now. Yes. Jesus' name. Yes. More, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Come. Come. Thank you that you love her so much. 
fill her with all that you are, Jesus. All that I am and all that I have, I impart it into this sister right now in Jesus' name. Spirit of God, come. Hallelujah. Fire. I know you're being rocked by the spirit right now. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, we love you, Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can't, I can't really talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just keep on worshiping Jesus. That's the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We're going to let him have his way with you, okay? You let us oh, know thank you. how I you're will. doing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you, dear. God bless you, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, he All right, praise Jesus, hallelujah. And now we move on to 7511. You're on live with Pastor Aaron Wagner, last four, 7511. Oh, I know that sound. Yeah, I can hear myself. <laughs> that usually means no one's there, I think I learned. <laughs> oh, I know that hello, hello, 7511. You need prayer, sir. I can hear myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Must be somebody just listening, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and put him back on hold. All right, praise God. And let's go ahead and move on to last four. Um, double check and hold on. Double. Do- I want to make sure I bring these out in order. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, last four, 4624. You're on live with Pastor Aaron Wagner. 4624. Hello. Oh, Hello. There you are. Jesus. Hi. Hey, Jeremy. What's going on? It's all good. Praise Hello. God. Pastor Wagner. Glory to Jesus. How you doing, buddy? All right. What can we do for you? Uh, I want prayer for my wife. Healing in her feet. Okay. Is she there? Yes. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with her feet? Just pain? Um, no, I have a Morton neuroma. Oh, what is it? Morton neuroma. It's a nerve between the third and fourth, uh, foot finger. Oh, okay. Your bunions, tell them bunions. Okay. So, um, I want, okay, so. The husband, you're a believer, right? Yes, we both okay. are. Okay, so your husband is going to heal you through faith in Jesus. So watch. I want you All to right. sit down and, and I want you to put your hand on her on her feet. Okay. Okay. Now you say, in Jesus' name, watch this easy. Be healed. In Jesus' name, be healed. In Jesus' name, be healed. It's, it's, it's done. You said it. What? Tell me. Let her. What? What are you feeling? I'm feeling warmthness on my feet. Yeah. Yeah, because the spirit of God is in your husband, and in you, of course. Amen. See, it's that easy. Yeah. Thank you, Father, right now for brand new in Jesus' name, God. Thank you that Great. you love him so much. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And you, 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 you're both married, right? Yes. All right, Father, thank you for this couple. God, thank you for what you want to do through their life, God. Father, I ask you right now in Jesus' name that you would pour all that you are, all of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of your Holy Spirit. Pour it out upon this couple, raise them up, and cause them to do great works in your mighty name. In Jesus' name, Holy Spirit, come, fire of God. 
I receive that. Fire of God right now. Fire of God. I receive it. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. I receive it. Lift up your arms. Both of you. Thank you, Holy Father. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. What are you guys feeling right now? How do you feel, baby? I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm you feel sweating. the spirit pretty heavy? Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> now, wh- what about you, buddy? I'm hot. You're hot all over? Yes. Okay. More, Jesus. More. More, Lord. We worship you. God, right now, in Jesus' name, I just ask you, by the fire of God, to consume anything in this couple that is not of you. Any pride, burn it up in Jesus' name, God. Give them a spirit of submission towards one another, Father. I ask you, Father, bless their marriage, strengthen it, and give them peace. I ask, right now, I command peace to be in their home, in Jesus' name. Every unclean spirit, I command you, go! Right now, in either the husband or the wife, every spirit, you will leave them, and you will not come back in Jesus' name. Amen. We cast you out by the finger of God right now. Kingdom of God, come. Every unclean spirit, move right now in Jesus' name. Amen. I receive that. I receive it. We receive it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come up and come out right now. Are any of you guys feeling anything in your stomach, any sickness, anything when I made that command? No. Okay, watch this. Fire in the belly right now. Fire in the belly in Jesus' name. And both of you, fire in the belly right now. More fire. Fire, 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 fire. Fire of God. Fire of God. Every unclean spirit, we burn you with fire and command you come up and come out right now. Make yourself known. If there's any unclean spirit in there, you go right now. The spirit of God is coming in. More Holy Spirit. Praise God. So you guys feel okay? Yes. Yes, we do. Awesome. Awesome. We thank you. We just thank, thank Jesus. Listen. Get together. You guys stand together and worship and praise God. The spirit will come on you so heavy. God wants to use you. And he wants to, he wants to make himself, he wants to reveal himself through your marriage. Because the marriage, our marriage is the highest intimacy a man, a, a, that mankind can have. And it's, it is perfect picture, perfect, the perfect idea of Christ in his church. So he wants your marriage to be an example of Christ in the church. So if you get together and you pray together, you worship together, you seek God together, there's there's no telling what God will do in your life. If you haven't heard it, go back and listen to one of the first shows that I did with Johnny and hear the testimony of what God did uh, for me and my wife. You'll be amazed. And, uh, And he wants to do the same with you. Okay, now was there pain in your feet? Was there pain? There yeah. was, but now I'm not feeling any. <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> Praise yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Now, freely you have received, so you freely give. And brother, what's your name? Marty. Marty. Yeah. Marty, did you know that was in you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did, huh? Have you? <laughs> so. Praise God. Awesome, man. That's in you, man. Don't ever forget it. That's the kingdom of God. Where the kingdom of God is, sickness has to flee. So, and and also, that's what I keep telling him. That's what I keep telling him, that God has something for him to do. And that's, that's what we, you know, we keep on praying that, that he reveals that to him and to, you know, to us. We practice deliverance. Well, okay, so he already has revealed it through his word. See, Christ was the perfect revelation of God's will. So what you see Jesus do, just copy him. Because the Bible tells us that we're his disciples. 
God said that, not us. We didn't make that up. He did. So what does a disciple do? A disciple watches their master and does what he does. So whatever you saw Jesus do, you can do, and even greater, because he went to the Father, meaning he went to sit at the right hand of God to stand to sit at the right hand of God and become the authority of heaven and earth. All authority has been given to him. So that means all that authority that he has in heaven and earth, which is 100%, is what you operate in. So Amen. you have 100% authority. You know that scripture, it says in Acts 10, 38, it says that for God has anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy Ghost, and with power. It says, and he went about doing good and healing all those who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Well, I take that scripture and I say, for God has anointed Aaron Wagner of Telemuk with the Holy Ghost and with power. And I will go about doing good and healing all those who are oppressed of the devil, for God is with me. See, I make it personal because my Bible says that I no longer live, but Christ lives in me or through me. My Bible says that I am hidden in Christ. So, therefore, whatever he has, see, I don't need a special anointing. Whatever he has is mine. It's his good pleasure to give me the kingdom. The Bible says he's given me all things that pertain to life and godliness. He's given you all those things. So all we have to do is believe it. Once you believe it, you will receive it, and you will walk in it. All right? All right. Amen. Praise God. So your, your wife is right. Your, God has called you. Ever let yourself be limited to, well, I have a deliverance or I want a deliverance ministry. I never did pray for God to give me a deliverance ministry or healing ministry. I always have prayed, God, make me like your son. Whatever Jesus did, let me do it. I want to live like him. I want to walk like him. Everything I do, I want it to glorify you. And in praying that, God said, okay, test me. Test what is in you. I don't mean, I know it's wrong to test God. I'm not saying that. But God lets us, God gives us the ability to be able to, to go through, you know, elementary school to graduate and go into something greater. So while you're working or while you're in the very beginning, try things out. Try it out. Do what the Bible says you can do. And the more you see it, the more confident you'll become and the greater things you'll be able to do. So it's all about uh, believing God's word. Okay. What's your name? Uh, the wife, what's your name? Anna. 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 The same thing goes for you. I know you feel like your husband's called to something greater, but you are as well. All right. Okay. okay. You do you have a hard time believing that? Um, a little bit. <laughs> I, I know. I could hear that in your. I could hear that in your, your voice and feel that in my spirit. I, okay. I can see it in him more than what I can see it in me. <laughs> right, but here's here's what the Lord told me about my wife. He said. I never gave no one the, whole, the junior Holy Spirit. Right. He said the same spirit that's in you is the same spirit that's in your wife. So I remember the first day I was, I was – I've always tried to get my wife because when, when I'm around and my wife's with me, she'll always step back and say, well, do what you do, and then I'll do <laughs> it. And she's, ama you know, she's really amazed, but she always steps back and stays back. And I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to remember this. And I, I just, you know, I've been doing this recently. No, let me step back. You do what God has told you to do. And then I tell her, you speak to that foot. And she tells the leg, or you speak to that leg. The leg grows out. And I say, did you know that was in you? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's hard to believe. Well, believe it. Because you just did that. I didn't do it. You did it. So the same thing, the same spirit that rose Christ from the dead, is in me and you and him. Do not doubt who you are because you are. Here's the thing. You are part of God's A team and he's okay with that. You're the best he has and he's okay with that. Why? Because he's no respecter of persons. So right. you have just as much value as I do or your husband does. You have just as much destiny 
as I do and your husband does. And now I'm going to do this so that you don't make excuses. Because what will happen is we'll say, well, yeah, but I'm not, I don't feel like I'm called to that. And so in doing that, we become complacent and lazy. I'm not saying you're doing that. I'm just saying that, that happens. We just become mm-hmm. complacent and lazy because we're, we're, we're putting everything off on the anointed one. See, that's what we've done as the church. Well, he's the anointed one. I'm not. And then we wait for the anointed one to come so we can all have a good day. We don't realize right. the anointing is there. It's right there. You're anointed just like he is. And if not, then God's word's not true. Gotcha. <laughs> because here's why. Here's why. Because. Those whom he predestined are the ones who have come to him. You were chosen before the foundations of the world, or you wouldn't even know God. And those whom he predestined, he justified. Those whom he justified, he what? Glorified. The glorified, that means he gave you his spirit. Okay? Okay. And I can give you scripture after scripture to prove that. (laughs) But... Rise up, children of God. This is your calling. This is who you are. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. That's awesome. Thank you, Pastor. And, uh, amen. And and you know what? Uh, I I don't know if this witnesses to your heart, Pastor Aaron, but um, one of the things that I I've, I've been seeking on my own, and uh, has been getting revealed to me little by little, is that. Uh, we have to step out now. Uh, granted, that the, you know, laying hands on the sick, commanding their bodies to be healed, things like that. That is uh, one one part of that. But when you're when you're when you're looking to grow in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, like the gifts of discernment, the gifts of the Word of Knowledge, the gift of the Word of Wisdom, when you're when you're wanting to walk out into into those and to receive those gifts, we have to put them into practice. You can't just right. sit around and, gee, I wonder if that was a word of wisdom or a word of knowledge. And I noticed, Pastor Aaron, that you do that. You, you, <laughs> you've, you, you've developed a skill where you say, I feel in my heart that something yada yada. You know, it's a gentle approach that we want to put into practice. It's, a, you know, call it a sanctified intuition. But when you're in the presence of a person and you are spiritually reaching out to them and and saying, look, you know, I feel led to pray for you. I feel in my heart that maybe you're having a difficult time in your life right now. What I, is it true? Is there something going, but you can probe and reach out and exercise what you feel in your heart and see if it rings true with the individual. And if it doesn't just say, well, then God bless you. Um, I'd still like to pray for you if you would. And you know, that kind of thing, but we have to, we ha- it's just like learning Amen. to hear God's voice. We have to receive it. We have to, pro- you know, accept it and say, "Lord, is that you? Is that you speaking to me? I feel that the, the Lord, you said this to me. Is that what you're saying to me?" And step out and take it and believe it and walk in it and do that as part of our exercise of the of the gift of faith as we exercise the spirits uh, the, the the spiritual gifts of the holy spirit we got to walk out and take it and exercise it or else it will just lie dormant and we'll never be able to see the manifestation of it praise god hey amen john you're you're absolutely right i i, I agree with that 100% see what happens is we as believers, we're afraid to step out because we're afraid we're going to get something wrong. You know, we're afraid we're going to be called a false prophet or, you know, or a hypocrite or something like that. And the fact is, is that we, we, we are, you know, we all start out as babies in the kingdom of God. We all start out as infants. And as we grow, we learn. And as we learn, I guarantee you, God's there giving us grace. And if, if somebody calls you a false prophet or, you know, or, or a hypocrite or something and they attack you, then that's just evidence of what's in their heart already, and they were going to do it to someone else anyways. So you can't ever let that. that. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can expect that to happen. I Amen. mean, wouldn't if you were the devil? I mean, if, if you know, if you were the devil, 
Let's just play, you know, just for, 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 for learning purposes, let's just play devil's advocate for just a moment. If you were the devil, what would you do? You would place the spirit of doubt upon that person's heart immediately. You would have somebody, look, Jesus was standing right before Peter and said, you know, uh, get thee behind me, Satan. If Peter, a hand-chosen apostle by the Lord God, uh, could, could uh, have a moment where his lips were being controlled by Satan such that Jesus, God in the flesh, First Timothy, I'm sorry, Sorry, Timothy 3.16, uh, you know, then you can believe that the devil is going to attack every single effort that we make to walk in the gifts of the Spirit. That is the, the number one assault tactic of the devil is to cast doubt into your heart. And and all of the – I'm not saying I'm an expert on this, but I, I love it. I'm excited about it. I think we all should be excited about it. And one of the things that I'm very sensitive about is is learning – the opportunity that God has placed before us to step out in faith and walk in those gifts that I believe, as you do too, Pastor Aaron, that we all, as the Lord wills, are imbued with according to the situations that we are in at any given time. So if the Lord wants to move upon us, we can potentially manifest any one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The nine, I'm referring to specifically the nine in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, uh, praise God. But it's a very exciting because if we don't step out and believe and take the initiative, how will you ever know? You'll never know because the devil will come against you and you will think that, well, you're not worthy, you weren't chosen, you're not anointed, and that's a bunch of baloney. We are all anointed. We are all called out. It is exactly what the Bible tells us. And unless we step forward and believe, we will never see that manifestation uh, uh, of the Holy Spirit in our lives to benefit the better good of the kingdom. Praise God. And, and there's a time coming, folks. We are on the edge, literally. We are on the edge, probably within maybe even months away from things getting ugly, and we're going to be mandated. It's going to be required for us to step out. We have got to get ourselves in the habit of stepping out in faith and believing that those gifts are given to us so that we're able to start and uh, start the works of God uh, on behalf of the, you know, the kingdom and the harvest that has been uh, predestined before the foundations of the earth. We're entering into the greatest time the earth has ever seen, and now is the time to start exercising those gifts in faith. Praise God. And we have somebody who's been waiting for a really long time. I feel bad. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring them on now. Uh, the last four of this call is, unfortunately, it's 1111 because it's a Skype call. It's a uh, voice over IP Skype call into the show. So let's go ahead and bring one uh, the, the Skype caller onto the show live. Here we go. All right, praise God. Skype caller, voice over IP, calling into the show. Are you there? We are on live with Pastor Aaron Wagner. Again, trying again. Uh, person calling in, hopefully, I think it's Skype. Uh, I hope it's Skype. Uh, calling into the show. Um, your last four, of course, you may be an international caller. Um, not sure, but you're on live with Pastor Aaron Hello? Wagner. Hello? Yes. Hello. That's, yep, that's you. Hi. Hello. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I want to give a praise report. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Uh, you had prayed for me uh, a couple of months ago about heart palpitations, and it didn't happen right away, but it was kind of like a gradual healing, and I don't have any today. Wow, glory to Jesus. I think I remember praying for you. You were the one. Didn't I have a, a, a word of knowledge about your heart and had you call in? Yes. Wow, praise and God. Yes, I was uh, very relieved that they're gone because I was having 2,000 a day, and, and I'm just praising God that it's gone. Yes, that's, that, that's amazing. That's his love. That's the kingdom. Man, we serve a wonderful God. Praise God. Thank you so much for calling in and, and letting us know because, you, you know, there, once again, you're, you're watering those seeds that have been planted in others. And, uh, and I've seen it time and time again to where I prayed for someone. They don't instantly receive it. But I don't, 
I don't pray and and uh, let go. I pray and hold on. So, well, we pray Amen. and hold on as the body of Christ, and that's what I want to teach other believers to do. So, thank you so much for the encouragement. Sure. And and glory God to Jesus you. <laughs> for your healing. God bless you as well. Thank you, Lord. Oh yeah, praise thank Jesus, you. Father God. I just thank you for this person. What is your name again? Barbara. I'm sorry. Barbara. Barbara. Am- Barbara? Barbara, yes. Yes. Barbara. Mm -hmm. Father God, I just lift up Barbara before you, and I just thank you for her. I praise you for her. I praise you, Father God, and I pray that you will pour out your Holy Spirit and touch her life, Father God. Just move her to the next level and then walk in the kingdom, Father. Just anoint her with the power of your Holy Spirit. Father, we just thank you for her having having the courage to call into the program and then share the glory of the kingdom and then share the awesome testimony of the movement of your power upon her. We thank you, Father God, for this courage, and we just praise you, Jesus, for your outpouring upon this sister in Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for touching Sister Barbara. Amen. Yes. God bless you. Thank you for calling into the program. Thank you for being I, so patient. God bless you too. You've been on hold for so long. God bless you. Yeah, hey. hey I, God bless you, you too. Know, there was one thing I did want to do, uh, John, before we hang up with Barbara. Um, okay. Wait. I, uh, what, man, when you, were, when you started praying, like the Spirit of God just hit me so hard. I just, I just my whole body was was just tingling all over. I just, I love that feeling, man, just being, being in the presence of God. Um, cause I, I was just getting ready to pray right before you did. Uh, cause I want to just say, father, we just thank you right now for what you have done. God, we just ask you to seal that healing. God, we ask yeah. Lord that you would protect her, protect her heart, put a hedge of protection around her. God, we pray for the blood of Jesus to cover her body, soul, and spirit, to cover her house or property, wherever she's at. Put a line, a bloodline around there. Do not let the enemy have – make her impervious to the enemy, Father. We ask you in Jesus' mm-hmm. name, Father, that you would just make sure that the devil does not try to attack her and cause a, a lie to rise up in her. Just keep her faith strong, and as John said, keep her moving forward and never drawing back. And we thank you, God, for the encouragement mm-hmm. that you would give her to keep her strong in her faith. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. God. Bless you. Thank you so God much. God bless y'all, too. Praise Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. Oh, That's awesome. Oh, All right, amen. And we're going to go ahead and roll over to last four, 2600, 2600. You're online. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, that's kind hello? of an echo sound there. Oh, oh there hello? you go. Oh, hello. 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 Yes. Yes, hello. 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 Okay, I am calling because I need help in prayer. Um, my husband has got um, found diagnosed with cancer, and he's been going through chemo, and it's a very rare. And so I need you to pray for healing for him. Okay. Amen. Okay, is, is he there? He is. Uh, just a minute. Well, why don't you go ahead and uh, – okay, that's fine. You can put him on. Hello. Hello. How you doing, sir? Uh, fine. No, you're... Uh, how are you? I Wonderful. just wanted – would you want to call in and uh, I'm going through chemo so you could uh, help us pray and yeah. uh, and uh, um, so on my cancer? Absolutely. Uh, yes, sir. Absolutely, and I want you to know it's not your cancer. Yeah, it's the devil's cancer. <laughs> it's the devil's cancer. Yep, and he can have it back, right? Yeah, we can throw it back to him. That'd be great, sir. <laughs> put it back on him where it belongs. So yeah. can you put me on speakerphone, sir? I do have you on speakerphone. Okay. So here's the thing. A lot of times when we hear somebody has cancer, uh, automatically – a lot of people go into fear mode because, you know, cancer can be a deadly thing. So 
So we get to the point where we pray different because there's a, there's cancer involved. Well, really, what we're doing, body of Christ, and I'm talking to the body of Christ in general right now. When we when we hear about cancer and when it, when we know it's cancer, we pray extra hard. We pray extra long. Um, really, what we're doing is we're glorifying that cancer. We're exalting that cancer and saying that it's greater or it's bigger than than the blood or the cross or the gospel. And really what you want to do when you pray for cancer is you want to talk to it like you would talk to it. Even a headache, it's all the same. It's all an attack. It's all a lie. It's all defeated. And Christ is the Lord, and he has authority over all of it. That's so, true. Amen. Amen. So it, it's the same thing as, as uh, like I said, with anything else. We make the command because Jesus is Lord and and He has all authority. So, uh, what's I'm sorry, what was the the wife your wife's name? Irma. Yeah. Irma, Irma, can you put your hand on your husband's head for me, please? Okay. Okay. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, Reuben. Okay, Reuben. God bless you. So nice to to thank meet you. you. Amen. Please Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you right now. We just thank you right now for this brother, God. Father, we just thank you for what you're about to do. Thank you that cancer is a lie and it's defeated. And right now, devil, we bind you by the power of the spirit of God. We command you, spirit of cancer, spirit of death, loose this man now. In Jesus' name, body be healed. Yes. Amen. Amen. What do you feel? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Tell, tell me, tell me what you're feeling in your body. I'll just wait. I want to I'm feel. feel it. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm feeling it. Looks like you're, I feel it going out. So I'm feeling it. You feel it. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. We're feeling it. Yes, <laughs> you feeling the presence of God? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Jesus is Lord. All cancer, you bow your knee to the name of Jesus and you leave this body. We command you shrivel up and never come back. You're, you're, you're commanded to leave the body and never come back. And right now I can see you, you spirit of infirmity. Come up and come out right now. Come up and come out. I see you in there. Come, 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 come out. Get it out. Get it out. Come out. Come out. Get out, you spirit of infirmity. In Jesus' name, I see you right now. Come out. Come out. Your time is up here. Jesus is Lord. Come up out of the stomach and go to the pit right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Fire in the stomach right now. Fire in the stomach. I burn you out, you devil. Loose him. Loose him. Whatever has been putting this sickness on him, you come up and you come out right now in the name of Jesus. The cancer is already healed. But I see a spirit in there, and you have to come out right now. Loose him. Loose him. Loose him right now. Fire in the stomach in Jesus' name. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Come up. Come up and come out. Go to the pit where you belong right now in Jesus' name. Out! What are you feeling, sir? I'm feeling it. It's coming. It's coming out. I'm yeah, feeling it's it. coming out. It's coming out. Out, you spirit, right now in Jesus' name. Get out. Out. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Go to the pit right now in Jesus' name. Come up and come out, and you are not allowed to go back in there. You're no longer allowed to to enter him again. Come out. Get out. Fire of God. Fire of God. The blood of Christ is against you. Get out, you spirit. Come up and come out right now. Out. Out, out! Come out! Yes, sir. Do you feel it coming up, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's coming. Yeah, get it out! 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 It's going out! Out! It's going out! Get out! Out of that body right now in Jesus' name. Whatever's causing him this sickness, get out of him. Get out of him. Get the blood of Christ is against you. Get him Come up! Up! Get him up! Come up! Your time is up here. Go! 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 Jesus Get is out of Lord. here. Jesus is Lord. I pour the blood of Christ down his throat right now into his stomach. Drink the blood. Drink the blood, demons. Drink the blood of Jesus right now. The blood of the Lamb. Drink it up, demons. Out! 
Go! Right now. Go! Jesus is Lord. Go. Right now. Quit wasting our time. You got to go. You got to go. You've been caught. You've been found out. The body of Christ. We as the body of Christ. We take authority over you. We command you to go back to where you came from right now. And don't you enter him again. Ow! Out. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up in Jesus' name right now. Come up. Come up. Come up. Get it up. Get it up. Go. Go. Put your hands on him. Here. Go. Right now. Come out. Fire of God right at the top of his head, the bottom of his feet in Jesus' name. Fire of God. We burn every unclean spirit out right now. We tear you out with all of your hooks. We burn all the poison out of him. Come out, poison. Whatever you devils have been feeding him, we command it to come out and go into that garbage can right now in Jesus' name. Out. 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 Come out. Get him. Get out. Come out. Come out. Every unclean spirit, your time is up. You got to go in Jesus' name. We break your power. We cancel your assignments. You go. He's gone. Is he gone? What do you feel? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Did you feel something come out? I feel him. Still there? I feel it. I feel it. What do you feel, sir? It's coming. It's coming. In your throat? Yes. Come out right now. Come out. He's almost out. Out! All the way. Mm -hmm. All the way. Mm -hmm. You and all of your little symptoms, out. You and all your little buddies, spirit of death, go right now in Jesus' Mm -hmm. name. Out, you unclean spirits, familiar spirits. Go! Loose him. Loose him. Loose him. Come up. Come up. Fire. 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 Fire of God right now. Father, sanctify this vessel in Jesus' name. Fire shot right at the top of his head at the bottom of his feet. Come up! Go. 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 Out. 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 Out! Fire of God! Out! Out! Come up! Your time is up here. Come out. I pour the blood of Christ down his throat right now in Jesus' name. Strong man, I bind you. Loose him! Go! Spirit of fear, out! Come out. Come out. Come out. Fear of death, fear of cancer, loose him right now in Jesus' name. I tear you out at the roots. I tear all your hooks out. Angels, go in there and drop hooks in these demons and tear them out. Tear them out, angels. Shake them, angels, side to side, up and down. Tear them out. Tear them out. Tear them out. out. Here comes the angels. You better leave, demons. You better leave. Go, 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 go. And strong rebukes in there in the name of Jesus. Your time is up. You've got to leave this body. You cannot come back. <laughs> Cancer's already defeated. He's healed. Spirit, you got to go. We're not leaving you behind. Get out! Here he comes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Did that lump in your throat go away, sir? It's, uh, my mind is, uh, is, is clear. So uh, I think Did you get it out? it's it out. It's out, huh? You, you can tell it's out, huh? Yeah, I can tell it's out with my mind. And also, my mind is clear, you know. And yeah, yeah. Because that thing was trying to take over. You. What's that? I feel not heavy anymore. So I, ha- I had a, a heavy... Yeah. Uh, hey, now I feel it lighter. Okay, now I want you to lift your arms up and we're going to pray, okay? Okay. Okay, say, fa- Father. Father. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he took all cancer. Thank you that, thank he, you that he took all, all the cancer. cancer. And all infirmity. And all infirmity. 
upon himself. Upon himself. So I do not have to carry it. So I will not have to carry it. And I will not receive it. And I will not receive it. I stand against cancer. I stand against cancer. And all sickness and disease. And all sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. For your love. For your love. And your Holy Spirit. And your Holy Spirit. Which I receive. Which I receive. Right now. Right now. In his fullness. In his fullness. To replace. To replace. All voids. All voids. That were left behind. That were left behind. From the sickness. From the sickness. And the spirit. And the spirit. That have left me. That has left me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. Come. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill them up. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Fire of God right now. Come, Holy Spirit. Fire, 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 fire. More, 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 more. Fill them up, Lord. Fill them up. Thank you right now for giving them life where there was death. Thank you for giving him light where there was darkness. Thank you for giving him peace where there was despair. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit. Come, fill them, Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. We worship Lord. you. Jesus is Lord. Lord. Thank you for the kingdom of God. Thank Lord. you that Lord. in the kingdom of God, there's no sickness, no disease. Holy Spirit, fill them up. More, more, Jesus, Lord. more. More, more. more. Thank you, Lord. Thank more. you, Lord. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you that this you. man will not die from cancer. Thank you that all of the chemo stops this day. Because of the healing that has taken place in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, you Father. Father. Thank you. Thank you. What are you feeling now? Oh, I feel a relief. So, feel a big relief. Yeah? Praise Jesus. Feel a big Praise Jesus. Now, yes. when do you go back for chemo? On Thursday. Okay. How are you feeling? Do you do you does it, has the cancer drained you? Have you felt really weak and tired and sick? Well, uh, I'm probably one of the few that has not gone through the whole uh, stuff because I've had okay. uh, 13 chemo's done already, uh-huh. and uh, I have not gone through any of that. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Okay. Yeah, amen. I want you to get checked again to find the cancer gone. Yeah, we're going to be going to MD Anderson next, the following week, like for my CAT scans and my, all my stuff. So. Okay, praise God. You let us know. We, we, we will let you know. Okay, because when you get checked in the name of Jesus, the cancer is going to be completely gone. Okay? Now amen. watch. Amen. I'm afraid I don't want you getting chemo when there's no cancer there. So right. if you, when you wake up tomorrow and you feel a million times better, which you will, because the spirit of death has just left you, you're going to feel yes. amazing. You're going to feel so much better. You take that as I'm healed and you worship Jesus and thank you for that. Thank him for that. And yes. get tested. Okay? Yes. Okay. Bless you. Amen. Bless your wife and that precious little girl I heard in the background. Yeah, or granddaughter. Six Your granddaughter. Years Six years old. Awesome. Praise God. She's a warrior. I hear it in her. Yes. <laughs> okay, so God bless you and your family and your home, and peace be with you in Jesus' name. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Praise Please call God. us back. Praise God. Bye-bye. We claim it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. All right, 
right, hallelujah. And now we're bringing on a last four, nine, four, seven, five. Nine four seven five. You're on live with Pastor Aaron Wagner. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hey, I can hear myself again. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're on. How are you? Uh, I'm calling in. I had uh, thyroid cancer in 2012, and they did, um, they found it by accident because of a parathyroid tumor, and um, the cancer had spread all over. And I have never been the same since I, they gave me the radiation. I am still very weak and uh, don't sleep right. I still have the symptoms of being um, hypothyroid, and my life is very limited. So that's why I'm calling in. Okay. So, okay, um, are you, can you have me on speakerphone? Sure. Okay, and I want you to find something that, in case something comes up, that you could um, spit in. Or, uh, okay. Because I, I can, I can already see what this is in my spirit. All right. Okay, dear. Don't be afraid. Okay, God's gonna set you free right now. How old are you? Fifty-four. Okay. You got, you got a long time ahead of you still. Cancer is alive. We're gonna crush it right now. Okay. Father. Thank you right now, God, for your mercy and your love. God, thank you that you are truly our only hope. All of our hope, all of our faith, all of our trust is in you, the one true God, the merciful God, the merciful God of the universe, Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Thank you that you are Lord of all. And as I said before, you're Lord of this cancer. You're Lord of all sickness. You're Lord of our bodies. And, Father, I thank you that you've given us, as the body of Christ, dominion and authority over every living thing, every living organism and every living creature. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you spirit of cancer, devil, I bind you by the spirit of God. You spirit of cancer, I curse you and I command you to come out of this woman's body now. In Jesus' name. Right now, spirit of death, spirit of infirmity, you unclean spirit, out! You're a liar. You're a liar. Come out, cancer, right now in Jesus' name. Body be made whole. Every cell respond to the gospel and be restored right now in Jesus' name. Cancer, come up out of the stomach right now. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Every unclean spirit, go to the pit. Go back to where you came from. Now. Loose her. Loose her. Whatever you devil's been feeding her, out. I command it to come up and come out right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Out. Come out. Fire in the stomach right now. A thousand times hotter than the flames of hell. Fire in the stomach. Fire in the stomach. Out. Come out. All unclean spirits, come out right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. Come out, you spirits. Go. Whatever brought this into her life, you leave her right now by the authority of the gospel. Leave her! (laughs) Out. Out. Out, you spirits, right now. Your time is up in this body. Your time is up in this vessel. Come out of her. What have you done to her, you devil? Get out of her! Come up. 
come up. Come up. Go back to where you came from right now by the authority of Jesus Christ. Get out of her. Get out of her. Loose her, you devil. Every unclean spirit, come out. Fire. 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 Fire of God. 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 Torture, you spirits. Loose her. Angels, stab these demons and tear them out. Come out. Come out. Spirit of depression, go right now. Go. Go. Spirit of death, go. Spirit of infirmity, go. Out. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. All of you right now. All of you. You and all your little symptoms, all darkness, you flee this body right now as if in stark terror in the name of Jesus. You go. You go. Jesus is Lord. Jesus, we exalt you. Go, cancer. Go, sickness. Spirit of infirmity, get out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Cast all unclean spirits out of this body right now. In Jesus' name. Send strong rebukes in there right now. Fire in the belly. Fire, 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 fire. Hotter, 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 hotter. No rest for you, demons. I torment you, spirits. Get out. Get out. Get out. Come up. Come up. You can't stay here. Thank you, Lord. What are you feeling, sweetheart? I want to throw up. I feel like I'm going to throw up, but that's okay. Not. Please do that. I know it's not fun, but you got to do it. We got to get that out of there. Come out, poison. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. <sighs> out. All the authority, you come out right now. All poison, come out. All symptoms, come out. Cancer, I curse you, come out. Unclean spirits, I curse you, come out. Fire, fire, fire. I use the fire of God and burn up all the sorcery, all the witchcraft, all the divination. Whatever you devils have been doing to her body, go! Out. Out, out, fire from head to toe right now, fire from head to toe in Jesus' name, (coughs) out, 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 fire, fire, fire from head to toe right now, come out, come out of her, (coughs) out, all of you, out, out, I tear you out with force right now in Jesus' name. Angels, stab these demons. Stab them, angels. Stab them up. Come out. Come out. Out. Your time is up here. Not one drop of what you brought in will be left. Come out. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire shock. Right to the top of the head and the bottom of the feet in Jesus' name. (coughs) Fire shock. Fire shock. Come out. Come out. Come out. Tear you devils out. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Loose her. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter why you're there. You got to go in Jesus' name. Go. 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 Right now. I pour the blood of Jesus Christ down her throat and into her stomach right now. Drink the blood, demons. Drink it up. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. 
the blood of Christ. More, more, more of the blood of the Lamb. Come up. Come up, you spirits. I stick the sword of the Spirit in Jesus' name right in her stomach. Loose her now. Loose her. Fire of God. Fire of God. No rest for you. Fire of God. Fire all over your body right now in Jesus' name. Hotter. A thousand times hotter right now. A thousand times hotter. Spit up your lesions, demons. Go. Right now. Go. Stop tormenting her and come up and come out right now. Stop tormenting her. Come up. I command that you can no longer torment her. You leave this body right now as quick as you can in Jesus' name. Go. 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 The blood of Christ is against you. The blood of Christ is against you. Out. Out. Angels, drop hooks in these demons and tear them out. Whatever you devils have been feeding her, I command it to come up right now. I eject it. Come up. Come up, poison. Come up, wormwood. Come up right now in Jesus' name. Come up, poison. Come up. Come out. All brimstone, come up right now in Jesus' name. Come out, poison, right now. Whatever you devils have been feeding her, I burn it out right now. Looser. Come up and go to the pit. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. No rest for you, demons. No rest for you. No rest for you. You got to go. I command you to stay in torment until you leave this woman and her life forever. In Jesus' name. Father, send a fire shock right to their kingdom and burn them out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Every unclean spirit, I command you to leave her and leave her life and do not come back in Jesus' name until there's nothing left, until there's no one left behind, nothing left. All of you spirits, even the strong man, you come out. Come out! We're not going to stop. You go right now in Jesus' name. Go right now in Jesus' name. Father, send your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, come. We worship you. Fill her up, Holy Spirit. Fill up every muscle, every tendon, every nerve, every bone, every organ. Holy Spirit, come. Fill that body with life. You are life. We honor you. We honor you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. What's going on? How are you feeling? Better. The sickness go away? The, the nausea? Yeah. So they're gone. <sighs> Praise Jesus. Thank you. Now watch. Do you feel tingling all over your whole body? Holy Spirit, come. <sighs> come, Holy Spirit. Fire of God. Blow, Holy Spirit. Blow. The wind of life. Come. Come, Lord. Come. Come, Lord. Come. More. Breathe into her, Holy Spirit. Breathe life into her, Lord. Breathe life into her in Jesus' name. More, God. More, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Cancer, you no longer have access to this body in Jesus' name. You will shrivel up and die, and you cannot enter back in. The Holy Spirit lives here now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
<laughs> Thank you, Lord. Dang it, I'm running out of time. How are you doing? Mm. You feel God's presence? Yes. I do. Okay, he's healing you. Thank you. Yes, you just thank God with all that you are. You just worship him. He's the one doing it for you, okay? Yeah. Now, can can you give uh, John your phone number so I could check up on you tomorrow? Sure. Okay. I will be calling you tomorrow to see how you're doing, okay? Yeah. And and and, I, and you don't worry because we're going to fight this thing till the very end. It's not going to come back. And if it does, we're just going to tell it. We're just going to make it leave again. Victory is ours because Christ is Lord. All right? Yes. Okay. Bless you. Thank you so much for calling. This is why we do what we do. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, and again, my email is jbaptist777 at uh, gmail.com. So just email me, and I'll get in touch with Pastor Aaron. And Pastor Aaron's uh, new email is Aaron. W five one six. That's A A R O N W five one six at gmail dot com. Praise Jesus. And we're down to three minute mark. Pastor Ern, you want to close with a prayer for us tonight? Yes. Did you? Can you get her number for me, please, John? Uh, can hold on. Too late. I can. I, well, I can try. I um just pray I'm that the. Still uh, on. Oh, she's still there. Yeah, Wonderful. we don't want you to give. Your, we don't want to. I know. I don't want to want you to give your number live over the air. So. Um, right. Pastor, go ahead and try praying and closing the show, and I'll see if I can go over to the green room and get her number for you. All right. Praise okay. God. Thank, All thank right. you. So here we go. Okay. Father, we just worship you and thank you so much, God, for what you have done. Father, thank you for all those who you have touched. Thank you for your mercy. Your mercy and your goodness shall follow us all the days of our life. Thank you, God, that we belong to a kingdom, the kingdom above all kingdoms. God, we thank you that we can rest in your promises, rest in the fact that Jesus is Lord. And, God, we thank you that nothing can touch us, nothing can harm us, because you, God, are with us. We thank you that if you are for us, who cares who's against us, God? Father, we worship you. God, we thank you for who you are. God, we thank you for what you have done through Jesus Christ, through the cross, through his blood, through the atoning work of the cross. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you so much, God, for everything that you have done. We thank you that we have, as the body of Christ, that we have found the truth, and the truth has made us free. We thank you that there's so many lies out there, God, but you have brought the truth to us, and we've received the truth, and we thank you, God, that we can live and stand on that truth, God. Help us as believers to stand on the solid rock of the gospel, the solid rock of Jesus Christ, the firm foundation, Father. Right now, in the name of Jesus, any person who has not been able to receive healing because they weren't able to speak with us, right now, in Jesus' name, I command every person under the sound of my voice, I command every infirmity, every sickness, every disease, every pain in every body that's under the sound of my voice, even if they aren't listening live, even if they listen later, in Jesus' name, I command every sickness, disease, infirmity, and pain to leave your bodies now and do not come back. Be healed, be restored by the power of the gospel. And we worship you, Jesus, and thank you. Father, for every person who has depression or fear and anxiety, right now in Jesus' name, we command that, those, those feelings to leave. And God, we just speak peace over every person in need of your peace right now in Jesus' name. The peace of God, let it rest upon their hearts, Father. And we thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for the show, God. All praise, honor, and glory to you. We are only men and women. We can't heal anybody. We can't deliver anybody but you and your mighty power can. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. We'll see you in two weeks from now, which will be the 16th of August. Praise Jesus. God bless you all.